Katina Eats Kilos and I are going to Ireland, so lots of exciting stuff upcoming. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I could not be more very, very excited today. I'm going for overall victory number 1078. I am back in the great city of Dublin, Ireland. We have so many people, which is much appreciated. It is actually my very first time in the Crumlin area of Dublin, Ireland, but I am here for the first time at Pip's Cafe in Delhi. I'm hoping to become the first person to dominate the very undefeated Irish Breakfast Roll Challenge. Seven people have tried, nobody's even gotten over halfway, so we're just gonna see what we can do in the 45 minute time limit. We've got the owners, Paul and Rachel. They've had Pip's Cafe for about two and a half to three years now. It's actually named after their granddaughter. We've got a 22 inch roll it's a pretty thin parisian roll on top of this thing we've got so much food we've got six jumbo black pudding six white pudding six hash browns i've loved all the hash browns here along with the black and white pudding but in addition to that we've got six fried eggs we've got 10 sausages we've got 10 rashers of bacon and then we've got a whole large portion of baked beans I love baked beans on breakfast, and this is all gonna help get it all down. But then along with all that, we've got a giant box of their chips. 45 minutes, if I fail this thing, it's gonna be 50 euros. But if I do win, I'm gonna get my meal for free. We got you a table and set Hey, the yes, on. yeah. As you guys see, the table is actually uh, with the photo of Katina and I uh, doing a breakfast challenge in Springfield, Missouri. But yeah, and I will get my name and photo. I'll be the first up on the wall of fame. So let's get this challenge started. All right, we have so many people here, cannot disappoint. Like I said, nobody's ever gotten over 50% of the way. So our first goal is to do that. Second goal is to win. So we'll just see what happens. Let's get a countdown. 10, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, go! Yes, all right, time's begun. The sausages do go down here pretty well, but that is because they are not lean at all, but they are yummy. All right, bacon time. This is black pudding and it is yummy. Don't ask what's in it, but it is yummy if you don't think about it. Also called blood sausage. Also, I must note, the bacon here is not exactly the stringy bacon we get in the United States. This is closer to a ham steak than anything, but it is very good. Thankfully, there's only 10 of them. We're gonna get them down. All right, we're working our way there. The, uh, the beans are really helping. But there's a lot of those, too. Can eat some chips along the way. Six and a half minutes in. How are you feeling, Randy? Good. Confident? Mm, no. <laughs> That is good black pudding, I will say that. All right, there's six eggs. We're gonna get some of those down. Eggs are actually the easiest part, so we'll just get those to feel better.
So everybody, is most people Catholic here? Yes. <laughs> Pray. Pray, yeah. Am I over halfway? I would say so. We have soda. Pepsi or Coke, anything you got. What's keeping me going is I truly think Katina's gonna win this, and if I lose and she wins, I won't hear the end of it, yeah. If you're in Ireland and there's a butter shortage going on, it's because it's all on this roll. <laughs> but I do think it's gonna help it all go down. We are halfway through the time limit, well over 50% through the challenge, so we'll see what happens. Last bite of the breakfast roll, the Irish breakfast roll. We're right under 28 minutes in. We've got over 15 minutes to finish these chips. Oh, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take two minutes and just calm down. I'm just taking a quick breather because I almost lost it there. Just about a pound of uh, fries or chips left. We might get it, I don't know. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Oh, I am stuffed to say the least. I'm 87% sure they're gonna have their first winner today. And then at the end, I'm gonna say I knew it all along. <laughs> Challenge. What they don't realize is, like the 11 days I've been here leading up to this, I've been drinking and eating like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so just doing this challenge and no drinking today is actually probably going to be the healthiest day of the trip. <laughs> take any credit for this win today. It all goes to 
the love and support of all the amazing people in Ireland. But, uh, last time. I'm gonna say now that I'm done, I knew I was gonna dominate from the start. Oh, I did not know I was gonna win. Actually, before I started when they were making it, I was 97% sure I was gonna lose. But thank you to everybody here for all the support. And I knew uh, Katina believed in me. I am the first winner here at Pips Cafe in Delhi in the Crumlin area of Dublin, Ireland. My finishing time, first to win, so it is the record to beat. 42 minutes and 59 seconds. That's actually the first breakfast I've had where they smashed the white pudding, the black pudding, and the hash browns all up onto the sandwich. And I was happy with it. Uh, I never knew where I was at in the challenge or how much I finished or anything like that, which I guess probably mentally is a good thing. But now Katina is up next. We're all gonna be cheering for her. The link for her video is down in the description. But yeah, remember if you wanna try this challenge, you've got 45 minutes. So big thank you to the owners, Paul and Rachel, their whole staff, everybody here with Pips Cafe in Delhi. Lots more Ireland videos upcoming, including two in the Dublin area, but I am going to get my 50 euro meal for free. I will not get a sweet t-shirt, but I will have my name and photo. I'll be the first person up on the Wall of Fame here at Pips Cafe. And after finishing all that food, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of winners joining me, but even if you don't wanna take this challenge, get here for all of the other normal muggle common folk portions of food. And to all of you that got on Pip's social media and said there's no way I could finish, that was for you. Domination, it was overall victory, number 1,078. Thank you guys for watching.